All right, hey out there in YouTube. I was gonna make another quick video showing off some glare on some comics. Also, I was gonna show off uh, just some recent acquisitions here. Um, this one is Harlequin Zero. It's the variant cover. Um, I don't know if I pointed this out before, but anyone who's not really in the know about it, like you can look at the UPC codes and see which uh, printing it is of the book and which and which cover version too. Like over here, it'll show a uh, number one, meaning it's a first print. And the next number is a uh, two, showing it's the second cover. And over here, it's a zero, showing that it is is issue zero. Just a helpful trick I kind of learned on books, and I don't know if anyone else is. Well, I'm sure a lot of you in the community are aware, but I figured I'd point it out. Uh, this is a 20th anniversary uh, representation of X-Men number one, Jim Lee cover. You know, they just recolored, kind of remastered it. Same thing, got a, another one of those. Uh, just found an early Walking Dead. Nothing spectacular, just number 22. Pretty good for being on in, up in the hundreds now. Uh, 66 and 65. Um, this is one of the series I really enjoyed. It's where Peter Parker, Spider-Man meets the Miles Morales, Spider-Man. Um, I just wanted to show this off because there was a couple variant covers I was able to pick up. Here is a, a third variant. It's got Gwen Stacy on the cover and a Terry Dotson artwork. It's actually, I think it's pretty awesome. I love Terry Dotson or Adam Hughes product. Um, Roberto Ramos cover. It's third version to number one. Sorry about the glare, guys. I'm working out of the garage and the uh, camera lights is doing it. Regular number one. And uh, another second variant to Spider-Man number one, where Miles is in the reflection of the blood. Uh, this was out a few weeks ago. It's the photobomb variant for Ghost Rider number one with uh, Deadpool sitting there roasting marshmallows on his head. I just really like this original Ghost Rider cover. So, uh, this is the regular run of the Ultimate Spider Man. There's number 11, 10, number 9, 8, 7. Uh, that's a variant to number six. It's a, I think it's Mark Bagley's art. There's a number six bag version. Another number six. Five. Four. Three. Uh, one, regular one. And there's a variant to number one. Actually, the fourth cover variant. And another variant, number one. Oh, there's number two, out of order. Bag number one. Or Star Wars, Dark Horse. Dark Horse had a, such a good thing until uh, DC or um, Disney took over the rights, and since they have Marvel's printing press, they just took Star Wars over to Marvel. It is Superior Spider-Man, number one, the Scotty Young cover. Uh, Matt Fraction's Hawkeye, number one. I'm actually able to pick up a fair amount of these recently. It's actually a super, super good read, too. Uh, Catwoman 23, it's the first Joker's daughter. Some more copies of Avenging Spider-Man 9, 10... Uh, Suicide Squad 8, a couple of those, it's kind of the end to the Harlequin origin story here, number 7 is her origin, I'm sorry, I guess it starts in number 6, it's another number 7, there's number 6, actually it's got a really cool cover, I uh, got the third print, of the Gwen Stacy Spider-Woman. 
Edge of Spider-Verse number two. And uh, I was looking for this for a little bit. Batman 700, you know, is all that. What's really the first uh, Terry McGinnis Batman Beyond appearance. So might as well have that. And oh, I was going to show this for the fun of it. I found this kicking around the garage. It's these old Batman animated stickers. There's a couple more back here. You know, with uh, Harlequin and Poison Ivy. Stuff like that. Um, all right. This here is a Wizard Ace edition. Why is it so blurry? It uh, retails, obviously, Hulk 181. It's got a shiny cover on it. Actually, kind of a cool book. This was sitting in a box that I didn't even know I had, but it's uh, the one for a uh, 100 edition of uh, Old Man Logan, number 66. Michael Turner variant. Uh, this is just recent for this week. Uh, it's the one for 50 version of uh, BPRD Hellboy. Mike Magnola cover. This is also this week. It's the one for 100 version of uh, Angela. It's got kind of the same cover as the Gwen Stacy. It's also this... Uh, one for 50 version. It's also a pretty good cover. Then the regular versions. There's the, of course, Scotty Young. And the regular version to Angela one. Um, a couple other things I found kicking around. Uh, Civil War Thor cover, number three. Civil War tie-in, Matt Fraction. I want to give this a read. Punisher War Journal. It's number... Uh, what the heck number is this? No, it's number two. War Crimes collects uh, 21 through uh, 23 of the Black Panther. Spider-Man Reign. It's kind of like uh, Dark Knight Returns for Spider-Man. Second printing of issue 25, Death of Captain America. A second printing of Civil War, The Initiative. Just like this cover. Uh, Batgirl and Nightwing. Or, I'm sorry, Robin. Old school style. It's a Nightwing Annual 2. There's the Ed McGinnis variant to Captain America 25. Death of Captain America. This is the regular cover. Regular cover to The Initiative 1. Um, this book, I always pick up anything that, uh, homages X-Men 141. So this is, uh, obviously the X-Men 141 cover. It's on Marvel Zombies, Army of Darkness, number one. Um, I like all the British characters, so this is, figured I'd show this off too. It's Union Jack, four issue series. There's number one. There's number three. There's number two. This guy made a little bit of appearance during the Brubaker uh, Captain America run, too. There's number one. Those are two number ones. Uh, these are also this week's books I just thought were cool. Darwin Cook uh, Superman cover. Here's the Batman cover. It's going to be putting out uh, variant you know, variant month for Darwin Cook. So a lot of the major DC titles will get these and they're all uh, sideways books. I was thinking of actually framing them and running around the top of the one of the rooms. Green Lantern. This is kind of an interesting book. I stumbled on it after watching someone else's video. I actually picked up about a box or two boxes worth of Millennium books, you know, which we can do a video on later if you're interested. But this one, uh, this mad one was recalled. I'm not even sure why it was recalled, but I got uh, eight of them in this bag. So uh, Some Apocalypse action here. Rise of Apocalypse 4. A couple of number fours. Well, I guess four number fours. Might as well be consistent. Uh, number three. 
old school Jamie Hewlett tank girl. Love this guy's art on a tank girl trade paperback. Got a old school Dark Knight Returns paperback. Um, then on a completely separate pile of stuff I stumbled on. I got some first issues here. I got another copy of uh, Thor 337 for Spay Ray Bill. A couple Ms. Marvel number ones. I don't know if anyone's not jumped on this bandwagon yet. Like they think they're too late in the game, but I think this character still has a lot of room to grow. Um, another uh, Vengeance of Bane. Marvel Spotlight 32 for Spider Woman. I also think this character still has a lot of potential with the Netflix Daredevil show, Typhoid Mary. That's uh, a uh, 254. First Angela. First All Star. First Doomsday. Uh, my good old buddy Rom. Spider Man in his black suit. Spider Man 2099 appearance. Got some uh, Infinity Gauntlets. Another Star Lord. I mean, none of these books are gradable or anything. They're just. It was a good buy, so I picked them up. Um, long Shot. First Psylocke in the US. And a couple more Thanos quests. Which is funny, I, I bought some of these, and then like a day later, I bought some more of these. Uh, the one book I wanted to show that I was kind of happy to stumble on. Um, is this something to be on the radar for? Uh, it's Life with Archie. It's number 23. It's the variant cover. Let's see up there, variant cover. And it's the first Afterlife with Archie appearance of uh, the zombies. So kind of a cool book. It is magazine size. I, I don't normally get a lot of magazine books, but I really like the Afterlife with Archie and Sabrina Teenage Witch. So happy to pick this up anyway guys um best of luck out there on the finds and love watching all the youtube posts i will uh hopefully post more soon take care